So today is Wednesday and on Monday I had my radioactive iodine treatment for my Graves disease. Now that means that I have to basically sleep in the spare room. I'm currently on an airbed in my office slash spare room slash storage room. And um, yeah, so I have to distance from people for two weeks. I am basically spending this week at home trying really hard to catch up on baking. I obviously have to be really careful with cooking as well. Um, so like preparing food, I just have to make sure I take like extra steps. I have to make sure I'm doing things like really regularly washing my hands. And then everything I use to eat and drink, I have to wash up really well and separately or I put it um, in the dishwasher, which is fine. It's a really weird situation because among all this, I feel fine. But regardless, I am trying really hard to use this time to focus on my work, get stuck into baking, so I thought I would give the Jubilee pudding a go. Now, I don't know about you guys, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but it is a very long and complicated recipe. Like, you make your own Swiss roll, you make your own custard, you make the chocolate bark, you make the biscuits, you make the coulis, like, there's so many parts to it. And I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to make a cheats version, because let's face it, I am lazy, so I am going to do a lazy jubilee pudding. Now, my plan is to make the Swiss roll. I love lemon Swiss roll, I've wanted to put one on the blog for ages. So I'm going to make a lemon Swiss roll, and then I'm going to make amaretti biscuits, because they're really easy to make. My plan is to get all this written up on the blog, all the links will be down below by the time you're watching this video. I'm holding myself accountable to that. I'm going to do a custard, which is going to be good old Devon Ambrosia, and then I'm going to make the jewel chocolate bark. And I'm going to put the mandarin pieces in with the jelly, so I'm kind of taking a layer out, but I mean it's a trifle. Trifle? Three layers? I think this one has like four, the Jubilee one, so I'm, I'm going for three. That is my plan. So hopefully you can watch me assemble this all and make everything and I can show you it's really easy and it'll be fantastic, but obviously I have no idea what's gonna happen and it could all fall apart, so hopefully it won't. So yeah, that's my kind of life update and I'm gonna head down to the kitchen now and let's see if we can start making all the bits for this pudding. So because of my iodine, I have to wear these to cook um, because the radiation comes off in like sweat um, and skin oil apparently. I'm first up making my Swiss roll, so I've weighed out my cast of sugar and then I've got my flour, baking powder and xanthan gum in here. I'm going to separate the eggs, basically I'm following a recipe that's already on my blog for a Swiss roll, except I'm changing it up, putting lemon in the middle, I might put some lemon zest in it as well. Um, but yeah, Swiss roll is the first job of the day. Ooh. If you get any yolk in, then you have to basically start again. So this is how I crack the eggs to make sure that I don't get any little bits of yolk in there. So first up, separate out the yolk. So the white's going into here. And then the yolk is going into here. And then I'll pull that white into here. And then start again for every egg. So now all my whites are in here and all my yolks are in here and I'll use these um, later in the recipe so don't throw them white. Okay, so when the recipe says stiff peaks, this is kind of what we're looking for. And the theory is that you can turn this upside down and it won't fall out. So that is where we then start adding in the sugar. It's kind of really, really glossy. That's what we want. And the way to test this is to get a little bit and just do this between your hands. Now it's very difficult with gloves on, but you shouldn't be able to feel any grains, and that's when you know that this is ready for the next part. So next, I'm going to beat the egg yolks together. I'm just using a fork, you can do it with the whisk if you want, just enough to kind of combine them and mix them up a bit. So that's how you really gently just fold it. So 
So here's how to get this to stick to this. Take a tiny bit of your mixture. And just dollop it like that. And then this will stick perfectly. So just to show you this, I've just got it out of the oven. You can see it's like a really light golden colour and it's kind of a little bit springy when you press it. Now you don't really want it to go too golden brown because otherwise it won't roll and it will just crack and it'll be a nightmare. So the thing to do after this is to basically pop some sugar down on the heat towel and then we're going to roll it up and leave it to cool so that once it's cool I can unroll it and re-roll it with the lemon curd. So while the Swiss roll is in the oven, I've just been mixing up my Amaretti biscuit dough. So I've got here some more egg whites, which I've whipped into stiff peaks, just like I did with the last lot, but there's only two this time. And then I'm going to fold in some ground almonds and caster sugar, which I just mixed together here, and also some almond extract. Now normally I would add some amaretto to this, but I don't actually have any, so I'm going to use this instead, but you could use either. And the written recipe will be in the description, so you can choose which one you want to do. Okay, so this is the dough once it's all mixed together and it's like a really sticky dough but really easy to just squish up so we're going to make some little round balls and roll them in some ice and sugar to bake here they are ready to go in the oven very exciting good luck these are the amaretti cookies out of the oven and you can see they've got like a lovely kind of golden crunchiness on the outside but they're really chewy on the inside I'm just popping them on here because I'm going to take some photos of them and the Swiss roll is still cooling in here. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Okay, it's day two. Swiss roll has been made again because the first one had a bit of an accident. I'm just making the white chocolate bark. So this is about the only thing I'm actually following the original recipe for. I've got this Dr. Erk white chocolate which is gluten free, no may contain warnings and then some mixed peel. So basically you have to melt this, scatter this on top on a baking sheet and then let it set. That's the jeweled chocolate bark. I'm not really sure how big it's supposed to be, um, but it looked like it was getting quite thin, so I thought that'd be all right. And put that in the fridge to set. This is the part where it could all go horribly wrong. Now I've just got to dust it with ice and sugar. And I think that's, that's all right. Okay, it's time for the bit I'm nervous about. I've got my trifle dish. This is about two and a half yeast trifle. So the original recipe has two Swiss rolls. I'm only doing one, so I'm doing it half the size. So I've got trifle dish, I've got Swiss roll. I'm going to attempt to cut this up, minus the bits I ate. Just got to test it. And then I will be making the jelly. I'm going to use a combination of orange and lemon jelly and some tin mandarins and the juice from that. So it kind of puts those two layers in one. And um, yeah, let's see if this is a complete disaster or if I can make a cheats version and it actually looks all right. <laughs> The Swiss roll is in here, it looks a bit messy from the top, but that's okay. Hopefully this will not float. If it does, we have issues. Okay, the Swiss roll has kind of been hidden from view by the jelly and it's floating. But you know what? I think it'll be okay. So you can kind of see it's kind of worked. I think as long as I just don't move it, like literally at all, until it's set. We're just gonna roll with it. And by the way, can I just say, this bark looks exceptional. Cannot wait to get that on top. Oh, let's hope that the custard will save this tomorrow. Okay, it's day three. 
Now this trifold doesn't take three days to make, I'm just being incredibly lazy and slow to do it and trying to do it around work. So this has been chilling in the fridge overnight and it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to put a layer of custard, I've got ready-made ambrosia, then I'm going to put some of the Amaretti biscuits on top of that and shards of this white chocolate jeweled bark which has set nicely and then that is that. I think I might have done it then. Okay guys, it's ready, here it is. Ah, my cheats version of the Jubilee trifle. I can't believe it worked. Now, this has certainly been a labor of love over three days. It should not take that long at all. It should only take a day over time, including the setting process. So I'm gonna put a link down below to the full written version of this um, interesting tale and the recipe if you wanna give this cheats version of the Jubilee trifle a go. And I'll also put links to the recipes for the Swiss roll and for the Amaretti biscuits in case you just fancy making those instead. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the ups and downs of this uh, baking challenge with me. In the meantime, I'm going to get a spoon and tuck into this. And please hit subscribe if you like this video. Check out my other videos and I'll see you again soon. Bye!